Welcome to Assessment of Learning 2. Today, we will discuss the 21st Century Assessment. Module 1 introduces the elements of the 21st Century Classroom and the skills students need to excel in a changing world. The module explores the role that 21st Century skills play in a learning and shows assessment approaches the enhanced achievement in a 21st Century Classroom. So the intended learning outcomes for the module one are the following. At the end of the lesson, you must have used appropriate assessment tools and techniques as applied in instructional decision and related learning outcomes and assessment. And now let's discuss the characteristic of the 21st century assessment. The first one is responsive. Visible performance-based work generates data that informs curriculum and instruction. Teacher can exhaust instructions. Schools leaders can consider additional educational opportunities for students. And policy makers can modify programs and resources to cater the present needs of the school community. So what do we have to remember about responsive assessment? It means reacting quickly and positively. The key word here is reacting positively. Feedback is also important in this characteristic. Why? Because feedback is targeted, the goal and outcomes. Feedback will help in the revision of the curriculum policies or guidelines of the school. The second characteristic is flexible. Lesson design, curriculum, and assessment require flexibility, suppleness, and adaptability. Assessment needs to be adaptable to student settings. When we speak of being flexible, we have to remember that what is applicable to one is not applicable to others. What do we also to remember? We also have to remember that assessment should be versatile. The next one is integrated. Assessment are said to be incorporated into day-to-day -day practice rather than as an add-ons to the end of instructions during a single specified week of the school calendar. We have to bear in mind that assessment should offer opportunities for students to consider the choices, identify alternative strategies, and link their prior knowledge to the new one. Next characteristic is informative. The desired 21st century goals and objectives are clearly stated and explicitly taught. The students display the range of emerging knowledge and skills, learning objectives, instructional strategies, assessment methods, and reporting process are also clearly assigned. In informative, it informs the students about peer status. Students should be um, given an opportunity um, to build a prior learning, self-peer, and teacher review is also important. Why? Again, because the student should be informed about their status. That's why self-peer and teacher reviews are important. The next one is multiple methods. An assessment continuum that includes a spectrum of strategies is the norm. When we speak of norm, it means that it is the standard or the model students demonstrate knowledge and skills through relevant tasks, projects, and performances. Take note that this is a multiple method authentic and performance-based assessment is emphasized. Multiple method deals with authentic and performance rather than the traditional model or the traditional mode of assessment. 
Um, when you speak of authentic and performance-based, example of those tasks includes speaking in front of the class, your place, and other things. The next one is communicated. Communication of assessment data is clear and transparent for all stakeholders. Results are routinely posted to a database along with standard-based commentary, both of which must be available and comprehensible at all levels in these characteristics. We have to remember that communication or communicating or posting the result or even informing the students about the result is important because this will, ha um, this will give them the motivation and the eagerness to learn more because when achievements are recognized, this also insp inspire the students. Next one is technically sound. The assessment must be valid and reliable. Adjustment and accommodations are made in the assessment process to meet students' needs and fairness the assessment must be valid and reliable. When you speak of valid, it means it measures. What it intends to measure? It measures the stated objectives. And when we speak of reliable, reliability deals with consistency, preciseness, and technicality. The last characteristic is systematic. 21st century assessment is a part of comprehensive and well-align assessment system that is balanced and inclusive of all students, constituents, and stakeholders, and designed to support improvement at all levels. Take note that it is systematic because there is a process, a thorough process, a follow plotting is info. So that is all about the characteristic of the 21st century. For our next reporter, we will be having assessment in classroom, instruction, and the types of educational decision.